that has got to be the best episode of Supergirl that I've seen so far. That was my favorite Supergirl episode, like, so far. Listen, it's not it's not perfect by any stretch, but, like, the directing, the acting, everything just felt so different. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to, like, disrespect the last two episodes, uh, last two seasons. They were uh, enjoyable. Um... But there's something that felt so different about this episode, like the the story, um, the same type of story, you know, like Supergirl trying to save everyone from this um, threat. <clears throat> and, you know, it's, it's just like the generic Supergirl uh, plot, but the way it moves, it feels very smooth. I don't know why, but the stories uh, flow very um, smooth. Um, everybody, you know, all the actors, they're great at the, the part. Um, Melissa Benoit, that's how you pronounce uh, her last name to all those wrestling fan out there. You know what I'm talking about. It's, it's Benoit, not Benoit. So Melissa Benoit, she just so... Um, th there's something about her and um, the character of Supergirl that just, just smashed so well. Um, she, she, she brought such a positive energy and the right amount of emotion, the right amount of badass, the right amount of, you know, um, inspiration to this, uh, to, to this character. And I, I just love that. I, she was just so charming, so emotional, so, you know, cool and tough and just everything about this character as I was, I, I, I just, it's starting to grow on me. Um, you know, it's, it's a CW show. There's some cheesy, some, uh, really unnecessary stuff here and there. But, I mean, it's unavoidable. But, as an episode, this is the greatest Supergirl episode ever. It brought tears to my eyes, like, multiple times. Um, spoiler, the, the, the scene where, um, Alex asked John, John's the band, Alice asked John to to walk to to walk her um down the aisle. That was heartbreaking. Their acting was so good in that scene, and it, it like it broke my damn heart. Um, the scene where she she uh, Supergirl was on the rooftop talking to John, and it's like, do you still dream about uh, them uh, about uh, your family? It was just the, the her acting like she her character in that moment is that. She's just so broken. She is so damaged. But she's trying to... Um, trying to stay strong. And trying to put up a positive image to the outside. But, like, inside, she's so, so broken. And that scene, she's trying to let it out a little bit. Like, you can you can see it in her acting. Like, she's letting it out just, just a wee bit. And then she's like, you know what? I can't do this. Take it back in and become this, like, strong woman again. <clears throat> But it, it, like this episode, there's something about it so good, so good. And I, I have to give everybody so much credit. And if you listen, if you listen like carefully, they kind of changed the, um, the the score a little bit. It's not the same score from la the last two seasons, if you listen carefully. Um, there's a new um, title card. Um, there's, there's so many things. It, it felt similar but at the same time they change something about it that make it feel very fresh very um exciting and i i just you know like last year if you ask me i i would never i would never think that i would say that the uh, to supergirl the the tv show because like i enjoy it but it's not like it's not flash it's not arrow it's kind of above average but I, I still enjoy the show, but this, if this, you know, if this is the direction that they want to take the show, like, I'm all for it, like, it's, this is a great direction to take, um, this character and this story, um, and, uh, I'm very interested in what they're gonna do next with, uh, this season of Supergirl, um, yeah, that's my review, spoiler review for, um, Supergirl season three, episode one, it's really, really good. You guys should check it out. Um, yeah.
Thank you guys for watching. If you like this, click the like button. Subscribe to me if you want to see more uh, review for a CW show. I plan on doing a lot more, a lot more of the CW show uh, review. Um, so yeah, subscribe if you want to see those. Um, comment uh, in the comment section. Uh, tell me how you feel about the episode. If you if you watch it, did you like it? Did you not like it? And um, oh yeah, one more thing that I want to say. The title, like Girls of Steel, is not like the worst title in the world. But I felt like the perfect title for this episode could have been Identity Crisis. You know, what? You, you, you see, you see, you see where I'm going with this? Like, if you watch the episode, you know what I'm talking about. Like, that's exactly what Kara is going through. Like, she's, is she Supergirl or is she Kara or is she both? So that aspect of, you know, the identity, like, who am I? Am I this or am I that or am I both? Like, that's really, that's play out really strongly in, in the episode. And I hope they keep that as, like, a theme for the upcoming uh, episode and the, ho hopefully the whole season. Um, so, yeah, there you go, guys. That's my review for Supergirl Episode 1 for Season uh, 3. Looking forward to my uh, review for Flash, Arrow, and Riverdale, hopefully Legend, and uh, a lot more, a lot more. Once again, thank you guys for watching. With that being said, I'll see you soon.